Order. First up is to approve the minutes of uh, 2-1. Randy has distributed them and passed them out. Any comments? Looks good. Good. Yep. Motion to approve. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. Motion second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimous. Um, next one, the uh, I guess the property survey has been completed, and our wonderful people have. Uh, uh, just a quick comment. Of, I'll get to this a little bit afterwards. I was supposed to meet with you to discuss different things about traveling. We haven't met. I have a reason for that. I'll tell you in a minute. So, what have you got for us? Okay, sounds good. <coughs> There's just one stapled parish. Let's get this. All right, so um, we did get the survey. Thank you very much. That was extremely helpful. Uh, and had our civil engineer draw this up. So I believe we presented three very rough concepts last time. We kind of eliminated one of them after looking at it more closely. Um, so we have two concepts to show tonight. Uh, one is basically all new construction um, with a uh, sort of staff and maintenance building, kind of uh, a little bit over where the existing building is and the trailers, and then a vehicle garage uh, further back on the site uh, with salt shed and fuel island kind of tucked in the back there. Um, in, in this case, we're actually able to stay within the property setbacks. We're actually able to stay outside of the river setback and the uh, natural heritage uh, boundary at the back of the site. We do cross the river setback uh, on South Middle Street, but that area is already pretty well disturbed, obviously, because current use, so I don't think that would be too much of a permitting issue. Um, kind of left the space behind the existing uh, wastewater plant open. Um, it could be used for bulk storage as it is now. Um, trying to avoid sort of the, the very back area that's beyond the boundaries that's already been disturbed. Um, so uh, I do have, I didn't print them out. I can talk about this afterwards. We did do uh, truck turning templates on both of these schemes just to make sure you know it all works. You did it for the tractor trailer trucks pulling out of the sewer plant? Uh, I'm not sure if we Because they that. pull in around now and pull out where the salt, where you've got the salt shed on the other one. Right. You, uh, you'll, you'll never be, they'll never be able to do it can, on that. We can check that. But that's a good point. I remembered that, I'm not sure the civil engineer included that one, but... Okay. Oh, that service. So, the second one um, sort of flips this scheme a little bit, uh, puts a, the bulk of the new construction out the back of the site, uh, and pr proposes to keep the existing building and kind of split it between some shop space and some vehicle storage so that we can reduce the new vehicle storage construction by that amount. Uh, otherwise, the program is similar. In both cases, we are showing a two-story admin and staff support building. Um, I mean, the footprint is just such that it would be too big to try to fit. Um, Where do the tractor trailers pull in and out, Gary? One goes kind of between the building, past the building, right? This is your sewer, sewer gate right here. Yeah. Back into the tanks here. Yeah. They pull in, back up. Right. They would never be able to do it with here. The other two would definitely be able to do it. Okay. So, so they go, and then they go the straight second. out again. The second would work if you move the salt shed. Okay. Yeah. Where does it need to get moved to, Gary? What they do is they, they pull Just around. If you look at the, the second one. Yeah, I think they come in like this. They come in around with um, the fuel island, 
pull around and they would pull up like towards facing where the salt shed is now. That's the driveway coming out, the dirt driveway. Yeah. Then they back in. Gotcha. Along where it says existing building to remain into the treatment plant. Yeah. And then when they pull out, they go that way. Yeah. All right. Okay. If the salt shed was to move basically north, say 15 or 16 feet, you probably have enough room for know. semi? Or forward. Or we'll, we'll take a look at that yeah. for sure. Yeah, actually, I showed it to you when you guys were out there. Yeah, you did, yeah. yeah. No, I remembered it, I, it's a little engineer. Yeah, it looks like if it moved north and west, yeah. Yeah. that would buy you the room you need. Right. Okay. Could you, could yeah, because you, you, you could back in from the road. Yeah, it's a, it, that's because they'd have to, that's tough. I guess if you got a good that, truck that driver, angle. you could probably back in from the road, but it's a ways to, it's a long way to back. Just, just hire Wally, he'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I backed in a lot longer than that. <laughs> yeah, once you get going, what the heck? A lot, lot tighter than that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll okay. definitely include right. that. But it looks like there may, may be enough room to mm -hmm. wiggle around with a salt shed there. Right, yeah. Uh, so again, in both cases, we're assuming to relocate the fourth main coming in. Uh, but that at least in these schemes, we're keeping the existing, it's a little bit hard to see, but we are keeping the existing outflow pipe uh, that runs out to Middle Street there. So the, the fourth main that's up against the north line? Correct. The so-called recoded sewer fourth main? And, and you said... You recoded, said, yes. <laughs> Relocated, isn't it? Hello, missing in there. And you and said your the, re, the, re, the existing outfall you're going to keep? Yeah, it's a little bit hard to see here, but there is a there is a note pointing to it, so you can see yeah. the line. And there's the green <coughs> and there's a, the, <coughs> yeah. there's a I would highly strongly suggest looking at that pipe line because I believe it's corrugated steel mm -hmm. and it, minimally camering it to see what kind of condition it's in. If you're doing a project of this scale, mm -hmm. and we're going to be looking at something that's Go last. Going to have problems down the road because that's uh, we run into that a lot here. Every a lot of that uh, corrugated steel pipe has met its life expectancy. Mm -hmm. So the location isn't the problem, Scott. It's just the potential yeah, poor can, quality of yeah, the pipe. Yep. Yeah. I I'd that, be concerned about that if you're doing this project and all new construction and. Uh, paved surfaces and etc. Has been upgraded since they built the original Four place or no? I don't think so. Just doors and Yeah, that's the, that's the right, the old building. The yeah. area, right. yeah, the we, arrows we, we, we indicate we overhead yeah. doors. Okay, okay. For vehicle access, correct. Right. <clears throat> uh, let's see what else. We've kind of uh, squeezed parking in in a couple different areas as you can see. Um, trying to make sure at least there's, we can at least equal what's there now. Not that it's very demarcated now, but um, uh, we are showing a wash bay and new fuel in every case and new salt shed. Uh, Okay. Nothing. Is this? Are the whites just simply like islands? Yeah, correct. Okay. Right, just to differentiate some of the drive areas. So we're saying that concept one is not going to work. Is that correct, Gary? Not with getting into the sewer. Yeah. Okay. Number two. I mean, I think I think you'd have to look at it a lot closer and see exactly. Yeah, we'll, we'll what take a look is. at it. Because sure. that, that hashed line there that you have, you know, in the sewer building coming out between the garage and the building is kind of like the route the truck would take. Mm -hmm. Can can you change that right. to get it further on the property line to get the truck in there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, there, you, there may, may be or may not be able to do something with that. I guess you'd have yeah. to we'd have to look at it a little closer. Right. Yeah. More more to scale or what have you. I mean, this this one looks like it has hope. Which the one is this? Two. 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 Yeah. That's my two cents. I mean, the building's going to be a good seller. Right. right. Very good seller. Right. Yeah. 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 That's why we wanted to be sure to include an option yep. showing that. Right. 
And yeah. so utilizing the existing building is, are you planning on keeping the uh, roof the same height, the doors the same height? Maybe, are you yes, gonna minimal renovation. Right. I mean, maybe adding some, you know, I think uh, it really depends. <laughs> If you don't touch it at all and use it kind of as is, if you use it, if you use the green part where you got shops, yeah, I don't think you need to add another door there. I mean, you've got a very large mm -hmm. door there. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, we know, may, that this, might be not showing it correct. The, this would be a shop that's not truck maintenance. That's going to be over here. Correct. Yes. Place. Correct. Yeah, that's yeah, plenty. That's, I mean, maybe. adding. Right now, we they drive in and out on either side. If you put the salt shed there, obviously you would that'd be a mute point, so you would want another door right. on that end. But that's yeah, right. it's a block building, you know, it's capable of it, yeah. remodeling that yeah. part. Yeah, I mean, we would want to touch it minimally to not trigger yeah. too many code I mean, upgrades. I mean, that's uh -huh. where it gets expensive. the windows have all been upgraded, the heating uh -huh. systems, the insulation, okay. the roof, the yeah. gable ends. The only thing it really needs is a, some mortaring paint, right? right. Exterior wise. So I think that would be the intent, to kind of just reuse it as is, as much as possible. Just to the two cents while we're on this one, a couple of the the two abutters that abut the North Hadley site are very much opposed to the DPW garage going there. They've actually approached me and <laughs> they wouldn't let up, <laughs> beating me up about not wanting the DPW yard there. That's why I didn't come to see Scott, because I said, if the neighbors really don't want it, we're, we're going to upset an awful lot of people. So I said, before we start investigating all that stuff, I said, let's just see how this works out. Um, I was kind of surprised they were, they were quite adamant. I'm not surprised. Um, not I, thought, I thought Paul would at least be amenable to it. I knew his uh, ex-wife would not, because she made a big deal about the fire right. station. But he, he was definitely, he says, a. You know, the fire station is not used that much, yada, yada, he put the DPW yard and this, he goes on and on and on and on. I said, you know, he's, he was right. It's, there would be a lot of traffic coming out of there all hours of the day, different times of the year, especially in snowstorms. So, I said, we need to try to make this one work. So, well, this ballpark, what do you say by keeping that building, keeping that amount of square footage? Any idea? To present, like, uh, yeah, I mean, probably you're talking several, some number of millions of dollars. Yep. Imagine that's a lot of, I mean, that's right. a lot of building. But then you got to demo it, too, right? <coughs> yeah. Correct, Which right? Costs money, too, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, but right now, our charge is to find a site, correct? Not worry about the building at this point. What do you mean, worry about the building? <laughs> well. We're, I mean, I know we want to understand that everything's going to fit, but are we getting into the details of the buildings right now, or are we just concerned with presenting a site to town meeting versus presenting everything to town meeting? My, my hope, and I, I'm hoping it would be the select board, is to, is the whole deal. Okay. Because I, we're going to, I think it's, it might have to be two phases, design first and then construction. Yeah, okay. So, but I, I have just found it more valuable in my experience that this group stays the same as the building committee. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just my... That's, that's, that, that's for the committee's I've been on, that's normal. So, the feasibility normally carries into the building. Right. Especially when you got a crew like this that knows what they're doing. <laughs> so let's say it's phase one. Okay. I just want to make sure we don't get caught up in stuff that isn't appropriate right now, but it's not I, I like it is. I think Where's the food truck going to go, Randy? <laughs> <laughs> did he just bring up food truck? Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's my headache again. In your front yard. <laughs> Wally, Wally, we got the hot dog cart down there right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Right next to the sewer. I mean, this is the best sell. <laughs> yeah, I, we, this is amazing. We don't have to buy property. <laughs> we're saving what's there. I personally <laughs> think, <laughs> I think <laughs> that we're shoving a lot of crap on a little piece of property. Yeah. There's no well, there's already there. a lot of crap on that property. Yeah, right, so what's and I, right. So you're not you're putting more on there, and it's like, okay, I'm just thinking about. I'm already thinking about all these buildings we've got here now that are could have been bigger and on a bigger piece of property. But but, yeah. but if you had to move the salt sheds, some you know somewhere close adjacent, that's going to be the least expense to keep it all there. You know, at some point. Yeah. Oh, I I mean this works. Right. So. But I'm just thinking. In my head, what's it going to be? You know, when our kids get to be our age and they say, 
Why did they shove it all down here? They should have made this bigger. Everything, every well, robots yeah. will be doing everything. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, the town will have That's true. We don't have any help now. So it's, it's, instead help. of putting a auxiliary site in North Hadley, put it where Russell School is. You're only a mile away. That's not going to be much room there. We could put the salt shed there. Well, you State could use it too. Russell School. They got the whole the old <laughs> ball field and a whole the whole site there. There's there's three acres. So that's a floodplain. I don't know what they let you put no, down. No, it's not that. a floodplain. Yeah, it is. Down below it is. Yeah. Russell Randy, School. Brand, down below it is. The ball. Yeah. Hopkins is in the floodplain. That's why they can't the have the emergency the shelter there. Yeah, it is. There's there's a benchmark. On one of the window sills. It was on, on the, the window back sill. Right. You building. lowered it to the other side of the driveway. But it's it's wrong. But it's just some, there's something wrong with it by I think like a foot. But anyhow, that is below the flood level. I thought when you and I did that survey of Hopkins years ago, we said that most of the Hopkins parking lot was above the floodplain. Mm, I don't remember, Jimmy. Uh, and we've done something more recent. Yeah, you were up there. You put a stake in on the other side of the driveway, which is maybe a foot and a half lower than the one on the window sill. Yeah, so anyhow, it's oh. there's, a, there's a lot of floodplain down there. Okay. Uh, but anyhow, I mean, the town's not going to get any bigger, as land-wise. So hopefully, in the future, we won't need more equipment than we have now. Um, who knows? But I just, I think this is going to be a way easier sell than, oh, definitely. than, than trying to find it. But, and, and can we even find another piece of property that's going to make any sense? Yeah. Good luck. Well, you can, but right. you're going to be taking you, 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 it you, you, in the you, domain you, and having a fight know, about the, that, the paying for it. Then, you're to, then people are going to be, going to be screaming about right. taking prime farmland. Right. You right. know, and I mean, the biggest expense to this site is bringing a water main down Middle Street. Right. But we need it anyway. Well, you need it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So we're throwing that in. I'm not throwing it in, but sure. Yeah. I mean, what do you work it every day? What do you think? Is it too tight? I mean, I don't think so. But I mean, both designs have you know their pros and cons. But I mean, if the the gray area is good property, there is room for expansion, I guess. And it's in the grand scheme of things, you ever had to add on to the building? You can. Yes. Correct. You know, yeah, you just lose. We, we're showing one pull-through bay in the maintenance area right now. But, you know, you would lose that pull-through ability, although you could pull through into the garage. The yeah, but well, yeah, I mean, it's not like... You could expand that garage right. if you had to, yes. I, I, I do agree with Gary. I mean, if you're going to do this, and I know I talked to Wally about this, you know, when this was before this was happening, I, I mean build for the future for a hundred years for a hundred yeah. years so I mean the, depending on the cost do you, do you say you're going with plan two you would we're leaving the existing building the storage area make if it's feasible right you make it big, bigger right off the bat so you have it's just a matter of money you know? no I understand <laughs> that but is that yeah. something we should be looking at to make sure that it's big enough yes yeah. right well, out of the gate I, I mean I will say many projects you know start off with a smaller one and either they are able to get that in based on the what the bids are as an alternate or they put it into a change order during construction which ends up being pretty expensive right. but, yeah that um, becomes gold or, or can it be phased in so so just so you guys know financially where we're at if this would be awesome if it was coming up before COVID but um, the town has relied on ARPA funds to fund the budget, and now we're going back to help use free cash to do that. So we have a, tough, a couple tough years ahead of us, specifically 25. So, um, but I do believe that there's a consensus that this is a priority. Um, it, obviously, it's not going to be something that's going to, it's, it's going to be borrowing or it could be even a debt, it's probably a debt ex exclusion. So I would say if, if there's a way to build this with the intent to add on as you know down the road, most a lot of municipal buildings that are going up now have Probably something designated to add on, an area to add on when you can afford it. So I just want to plop that in there. It, 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 it is, uh, it's a priority, but we have a, a, two, a couple of two years that are going to be pretty rough for us. Well, they, that, when this building was being built, we had, to, we had to cut it back because of the two properties. And they, well, let's talk about a plan B addition. 
the problem that everybody knows with an addition is if you plan on doing it five years from now, that addition is going to cost you a lot more money. And if code changes or something, they're going to have to go back through this brand new building that's five or ten years old and upgrade everything you just did to meet new code. Well, you were speaking a hundred years, so I was hoping we had more than five or ten years to plan. <laughs> That sounded snotty. Well, I mean, I was going to bring it up. Welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> when, when they're estimating this price, because you don't, you don't have price any of any of this stuff yet, do you? Well, I have looked at it informally because I thought okay. it should be. We shouldn't try to hide that because it is a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> do you so. have them by the for the project, or do you have them like by the building? Mm, sort of by. Project, yeah, I guess. We'll go by the project okay. anyways, yeah. it's, because mean, that's the total. Right, uh, you gotta do it all. Okay, well, could give us, give us, give us a ball, give us a ball for our kind of. Yeah, project. throw it out there. Sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you looking at you know, we have a lot of historical numbers, so we're looking at we're basically using square foot cost per square foot costs for different portions of the building. Okay, okay. that's okay. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's right. Than others, right? Obviously, the the vehicle maintenance. I mean, sorry, the vehicle garage is the least expensive and right. it's also the biggest, so that does impact the whole project. Right. Uh, but, you know, over as a total construction, you know, we are looking at uh, about almost $500 a square foot, so it's about $22 million total construction. So that ends up being, you know, a 27 plus or minus million dollar project cost with, when you add in engineering and soft costs. So and since you do have the prices by building, what would the vehicle storage building cost the property? Really yeah, I would have to, I have it only as sort of isolated construction. That's right. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's not a, obviously what's included in all of the is, is various mechanical equipment, or uh, maintenance equipment, uh, the site work, the fuel stuff. So I, if I, the numbers that I'm telling you are just raw construction, right? Okay. So I'm sorry. Which one did you ask for? The big building, the vehicle storage. The vehicle garage. Uh, so that one in this case is 12,000 square feet. Uh, it's about uh, a little over three million dollars. But again, that doesn't include any site work or anything else. That's, That's just fine. construction okay. of, that, of that portion. Would it be helpful, folks, if, if we had numbers, dimensions on these buildings rather than square The scale foot? is there. So that looks like it's 100 by 120. Yeah, the, the print is not, to, is not printed to scale, but the graphic scale is correct. So if you, if you took tick marks on a piece of paper, you can. But I can yeah. tell you some of those dimensions. Uh, I mean, the garage is about 100 by 100, essentially. 100 and the vehicle storage? Yeah. It's 100 it's a by 120? Bit of, it's, it's, yeah, 120, yeah. So it's it's 100 feet wide, so that gives you a, a yeah. sense. And there are some dimensions around on the site showing you uh, clearances. Yeah. So it'll give you a sense of the scale. <coughs> so roughly, I mean, if you're using the 500 per square foot, say you added, you know, 3,000 square feet to that part of that building, mm -hmm. you're looking at about a million and a half more. Yeah. Again, because it's it's cheaper. Right. You know, it's maybe a little less than that, but yeah, something. And that, I mean, in reality, that building shouldn't cost. Right, because you're not putting five hundred dollars there. Right. Correct. No, it won't. So. Right. The five hundred dollars a square foot includes. So if you if you all add the site work and the fuel island and the salt shed, so that it it's kind of lumps all that sure. together. Sure. I understand. Okay. So you'd be making that a, like a twenty five percent bigger for maybe another million dollars, um, give or take. Uh, yeah, that that's typically very hard to calculate exactly because right. you know it's these are pre-engineered buildings that come as kind of a package, and so for them to expand it is probably not that expensive. Right, but when we're estimating it, it is right. Let's well, your estimators there. You know, those kind of things, which really shouldn't right. be. Right, it shouldn't be. That. Shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that right. This is a square foot. So with that, I think that would help with that price. Up? An extra three thousand, you know, twenty-five percent bigger on that would. Well, that, and, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of saying. I know obviously it comes down to dollars and cents of what people are want to pay, but sometimes it is cheaper to go a little bigger right out of the gate because it's it is more cost effective. That's well, if you would you plan to, to do it at. in the future, it would definitely be cheaper oh, yeah. to do it all at once. Yeah. That's your point. Yeah, sure. and, and I, like I said, I guess 
this all comes down to the people of Hadley what yeah. they what they want. I mean, I mean and you've you know, obviously these co you know, if we however soon we vote on this, it's going to be about at least two years before it gets going. Now that, that number does actually is include a little it, bit. It of does inflation? Include, include escalation for two okay. years actually. Okay. So yeah. that's out okay. to 2025. It also does include uh, about a million and a half dollars of renovation work on the existing building. Okay. I'm assuming we do something to it. Um, obviously, there's a bit of a premium because this is a two-story piece, so we're, we have an elevator and stairs that we wouldn't normally have. Yeah, yeah. the vehicle storage building, it's a high bay building, right? What's that? It's a high bay building. Yeah, okay. what we call a pre-engineered metal building. What you're going to have, the, the, the doors are, what do you... Proposing for doors 14, 16. 16 usually, yeah. So my question is not work, not being an employee of DPW, and not fully understanding everything that the town owns for equipment that's going to go in these buildings. Is what is being proposed big enough? To cover everything and then is there going to be extra from the get-go or are we going to start Pilots with a deficit yeah that's what I I don't think there's extra room but I believe it fits everything I didn't bring the programming with me but we went through that a couple times with you yeah we did so and we, uh, obviously and either the, the pole barn is you know gone, gone so Correct. we got to consider all that I mean it's cold storage but right. it's dry what we like um, to try to include usually and is usually off the end, the side of this of this garage is just an open shed. Not enough. It's really, it's really tough to find space for it here. Yeah, because that's okay, great right. overflow yeah, space, and it keeps stuff out of the weather, and it's you know seasonal storage and yeah. so on. And, and so I uh, I realize this is just a proposal, but you're showing one basically one door right in and out on this vehicle right. storage yeah. building, and. That could get real interesting trying to maneuver stuff inside. Yeah, that's kind of what we have. So our typical, well, our typical layout is actually a is a um, you know a, a parking arrangement like like this, an angle parking. So you come in, you park, you can back out, and then drive straight out the other direction. We do often have additional doors at the two sides because that's sort of extra storage for those triangle areas, and often we'll have you know two vehicles. Uh, stacked up right inside there that can maybe yeah. be used for emergency purposes that can get out quick. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's an operational thing, but it is a lot better than having a whole series of doors and having to stack trucks. Um, at least this way, if, as long as you're you know organized, you can trucks can pull in and out uh, without blocking anything. That's the intent of that. <clears throat> and the angle parking also gives a nice spot to leave the plows at the end. It's On the admin and staff building, it's 3,200 square feet. Is that per floor or That's total? per floor, yeah. Per floor. Per floor. Okay. So that's more than, I mean, that's, that's going to be good for 100 years. That's all. That should be. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah that's offices and then it's lockers and, and uh, you know, uh, training room. And this includes moving one of the trailers up for the town administrator's future office. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for thinking of me, Gary. I just fixed them up. For you. I know you They're just nice. fixed them up. Yes, thank you. He using, even used yeah. historical things. Yeah, bringing so the mice up with it. Nope. No, no, we invented those. <laughs> I'm surprised how much higher this per per foot cost is than if a regular person. These Welcome to prevailing wage. Well, yeah, that's, but that's, that's insanity. That is, it's it ten is. times the mm -hmm. cost. Yeah. Because for fifty dollars a square foot, you could make that all day long. Well, yes and no. There's other, you know, the code requirements that we're designed, required to build a building like this too, given its use. Actually, probably not. <laughs> it would probably be more more expensive, but just because you know this is considered to some extent an industrial use. Prevailing wage adds about, and then the prevailing wage that, that adds about, I want to say twenty-five to thirty percent. I was, I was going to say thirty yeah. Or plus. Yeah, yeah. For sure. it's way and more than that, Jim. It's more than double. Unfortunately, given that you're a little bit less in the, <laughs> you're a little more isolated out here, that brings up the cost as well, for sure. I and then filed subbid rules in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. A residential house, what it costs now a square foot. It, 
I thought you were going to come out higher. I know it's a lot of store, you know, the storage yeah. area, but that. You, th you thought it would be higher. <laughs> I, I did. I was, I was worried know, about the presenting number. Square foot? This, this, this just people bid right houses at 500 square, square foot, foot now. Okay, so, 250 square foot. Well, that's, 50. A, that's a square foot. Scale foot issue there, right? right. Yeah. So you're building okay. smaller things. It's going to be right. more expensive that's, that's, per that's, square foot. That's right. less than the cost of building a house today. Okay, but this is just an open bar. But it's not really. Because a lot of engineering is the main cost of building a house. Kitchen is the one. Yeah, and kitchen. And the house behind me, it was just. Bill, if I said it last, still said this, um, is over five hundred dollars a square foot. That's what You're it was right. sold for. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yes. It, it's unbelievable. And, and my now opinion, with the new energy it, code, you're talking right. a twenty is a thousand for that house yeah. isn't you know today's, and, and you're talking it's probably forty thousand. And 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 in my opinion, the two houses built behind me. Neither one's built very well. I, wa I watched the snow melting on them in the snowstorms. I was like, and I look at my house and their house, and I says, those are brand new. My house is 43 years old. My house is better insulated than those. Ah, no, those passed some good Lord. They really did. Those, believe it or not. Well, and now we're going to go to NO52, so they're... I'm, I'm just saying, if, 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 if that's well insulated, then mine's going to be... Somewhere over the edge. Yeah, well, you, yeah you did it yourself too. So. <laughs> right, never, 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 that's what you're wrong. Okay, yep. back to this. Uh, it would it be safe to assume, I'm just assuming that re renovating the existing building, that would have to be sprinkler too, part of this? Um, just Yeah, yes. The, I mean, sprinkler, sprinkler adds a tremendous expense to things too. I, I was going to say, that, that, yes. you're really not doing a whole lot of renovating other than maybe adding a door and Moving yeah, I, I, again, you know, this is very high level, so I kind of just put that in yeah, place right, over at yeah. this level. I'm, I'm sure the fire be chief would be, you know, pushing for it to be sprinkler, especially, uh, especially that the use of the, yeah. that building. Yeah, the, the existing shop, is that one garage door where they work on the trucks? One garage door, yes. Yeah. Okay. The, and the, so... What we're showing might not be actually... So I'm just... I'm just one yes. one uh, tight garage door there. Okay, and yeah. you want to be able to have space for two vehicles side by side in the shop, right? I, I'm assuming this would be like... This is not going to be a mechanic shop. This is going to be more like building maintenance. Correct, area. yes. Yeah. yeah. I was, like, the door we have that, there now on that portion of it... It's fine. I mean, this is kind of... The actual wall on this building now is a little bit, he's divided west, it right down right, the middle. Right, it's right. yeah. more west. Right. Yeah. Probably, well, I'm not going to say, not quite where the second arrow is in to the east, but okay. you know, somewhere in there. If you leave that for a shop, that's where also you're, you've got an office in there, you've got a bathroom in there, you've got a tool crib in there, mezzanine above it for storage, and then the other side for vehicle. Basically, you could leave the floor plan of that building the same. Right. And that's going to give you, you know, like, like you a said. lot of our trucks are in there now, so yeah. Yeah, extra yeah. storage, we're going to take out the, I mean, we could leave the small lift in there too, depending on, yeah. you know, if you wanted more parking. Yeah, or, like you said, the biggest thing would be fixing all the damage to the building from it getting hit over the years. <laughs> yeah, basically you'd have to remortar it, you know, it hasn't been done, and then it needs to be painted, and maybe you're going to have to add a door to the vehicle storage, because if you have the salt shed there, there's no other way out. You're blocking. You know, there's more. I mean, in through. in theory, if if you're doing just superficial work like that, you might not be required to sprinkler it. But would you want to? You know, I think so. Given that you have a brand new building here, and then you know a portion of your operations are still in that old building unsprinklered, it seems like a bit of a risk. But that's something we would look at in detail later. Right? And the. Savings for having our own fuel island is a lot of money. Uh, we're still, it's safe to say we're exploring that presently still. Uh, Meaning trying to get prices? Well, no. Uh, but, uh, yes and no, I guess. The, the fuel market being so high and low, really is there a savings now? I, you know, our options have changed. Like last year, they changed a little bit. You could buy your fuel price locked in, or you could buy market plus, what have you. Uh, and 
Another option we're, we're doing right now also is we have fuel cards that are through uh, state con contract, uh, through combines that, you know, different, you know, organizations bid fuel yeah. through the state, which, you know, we have those cards and that availability. Uh, part of like the fuel thing too, uh, like when you lock in, if and that's a, a potential thing we're going through right now, we bought X amount of gallons of fuel and we locked in on that, which means we own that. Mm -hmm. We can't take it. You know, we had, you know, winter didn't really set in here for to the end of the season, so our fuel consumption was down, et cetera, et cetera. So now you have fuel that we, we can't purchase prior to June 30th, which we're gonna have to pay storage on. So saying that, is that cost effective? I don't know. What it does is it does give you an actual budget number for the year, where it's just paying like say 10% over rack price where you don't know what your budget's gonna be for you know, diesel. But when you buy rack price plus, you're not committed to anything holdover, et cetera. Or if you run short, that's another problem right now with gasoline, we're probably going to be short on gasoline, which you know, if we have to buy, it's gonna be rack plus. It's not part of our contract. So there's a lot of variables to this. It, it's it's so a real the, roll the other the thing dice. with the fuel there is, I mean, and maybe you don't need that much, but back during that October snowstorm, well, that's what it is. You're thinking of totally eliminating the island. That's my question. But in an in, in emergency disaster, is it almost, have you ever seen anybody do that? Just curious in the municipality. I don't know of any that have gone from having their own fuel to not. I think it's more of a question, do they want to add, is it worth adding it when they don't have it? How big is this fuel island, island you're proposing and how uh, complex, I guess, is it? Um, well, I mean, that size-wise and I think for costing purposes, I, I believe it's probably two 10,000 gallon tanks above ground. Uh, and did I include two ten thousand gallons? One diesel, one for gas. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's because what we have now. You can only buy a couple of those. Uh, you have six thousand gallons. It's mm -hmm. that's way too much fuel. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. If you're worried about a sprinkler system and you're putting your <laughs> so fuel. we I did include price for a canopy. Yeah. Uh, in this case, but not a fire suppression system. I, I guess the question that really you need to look at. What does this fuel island cost? Right. I, I know, you know, talking to Mike about just the fuel situation, Mike's thinkable. I don't hold me to this, but I think the threshold is seven or eight thousand. You start going over that, you need fire suppression, etc. If you're under that, I, I don't think you do. But that's a question for him. And I just personally think that. 10,000 gallons is way too much. We can scale that back. Five or 6,000 gallon tanks is plenty of fuel. Hey, I can I can call today and have a fuel drop tomorrow. It's so pretty, if, pretty good. If you, if you, and this is above ground fuel storage, correct? Not yes, in sir. ground. Yeah, okay. Because if you factor in the price of a fuel island, I'm, I'm guessing it's, it's pricey versus I hate to say it, but just going down a big Y and buying fuel at the pump. Yeah, the, the only, the biggest thing, like they said with this, is if there's an outage or whatever, we have a generator, we can pump fuel. A lot of the service stations in don't the, have. In fuel. the 2016 yeah. snowstorm, the town of Amherst was coming over and getting diesel fuel at our pumps. Okay. Because we had power and we had fuel. And, and I know was, everybody ran to that then. That's my yes. question. And, and there was, why they, there was right. no place. And the convenience factor. Is, you know, I mean, yeah. plus, <laughs> you're in line with every other person in the world trying to get gas for their right. generator and their car. And, you know, it's it also just not DPW who uses it. Right? Yeah, the right. police, the police fire use it. So. Yeah. I, I know, like, yeah. the yeah. police cars and stuff, they come in and they're getting fuel or they need a wiper blade or something. It's a one stop shop until they mm -hmm. feel when they come into the garage. and. I mean, yeah, there's sometimes where they to might need to get fuel yeah. in the middle of the night, also, yeah. like the yeah. fire. Well, yeah, it, it, it's, the, it's the middle of the night fueling the, up when you right, got a storm. The fire down um, 
by Campus Pizza there, that fire. Um, we came in, two of the highway guys came in that night. We were just fueling fire equipment, <coughs> shoveling it back and forth. All right, so yeah, and, and I agree the convenience factor is huge, uh, even if it wasn't an emergency situation, just to be able right. to I, be I right there. I just, I don't like where that island is, just because it kind of is like in, in the, the middle, middle of everything. Yeah. And if that, I think if it could be moved off to the side somewhere, that would free up a lot of space. Mm -hmm. And then for future expansion, you'd have a lot more room than if you leave it where it is. I agree, it is kind of right in the middle of the whole mess. It is, I mean, the intent obviously in the consensus around is, is to be able to circulate around. Sure, no, I, I understand, yeah. and, and we're not trying to beat you up too bad. No, no. <laughs> and this but, is a, uh, yeah. No, I get Concept. it. Yeah, I, I get it. I mean, everybody yeah, looks at it differently, and I could have an idea that's, that's totally location, out right. to lunch. But I'll yeah, bring it up anyhow. In the grand place, scheme place of things, down. how does the card work with the? On we don't know yet. Huh? The second plan. Because we've been using the say, card for the ones that. Because of this tractor trailer issue. Mm -hmm. Because they work great. Could you flip flop the, the fuel island and a salt shed? Put the fuel island. You put the fuel island yeah. west of the salt shed. I think so. And yeah. closer to the shop. I think we, we may have had a sketch at some point of looking at that. But I think you might have. Yeah. Could you put the fuel island next to the admin building where you got that little white square? Close to right the there. Possibly. Especially if, we, especially if we reduce the size of the tanks. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think in a situation like that, we've got stuff that's close to the road now. And yeah. it, it may require a variance or something. Yeah, this, 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 this project already requires a variance. But you have two houses nearby, and it's the, at the end of the road. I yeah. can't imagine those people are going to make right. have, yeah. have an issue. I, I, I would I would agree with that, Jimmy. I was going to say that it shouldn't be a big deal to get it, but you never know. Yeah. Well, then if you had to add on to the storage building, you could go towards the river. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. If, you get, if the fuel island is not here, you it it opens up a whole bunch of possibilities on many things. Yeah, I, yeah. I guess too, depending because you you're looking at flow of traffic going on the rear of that building. I guess you could always put the fuel island all back, correct? Too. You or is that you could? We want to obviously avoid any of these boundary yeah. lines. And I guess it's a question of, you know, do you think that treatment plant will need to expand that direction? Well, I mean, if the treatment plant was ever going to expand, I think it would be going off the back. I'm, I'm saying, like, your fuel line. Could you put it down the... Could, could you put it oh, back I'm sorry. here? Oh, I see. Northeast, yeah, yeah. the east. Oh, I see. You know, because it looks like your traffic flow is going to be storage. like this. Right. So you could just... Similar you know, where the pole bar is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Scott's telling yeah. him to put it in the exact opposite place. Where are you going? <laughs> Back here. Yeah, it's on top of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah. Where the old it says store it, garage, but it's a pole barn. Yeah. The old L one. Here it is. Yeah. Yeah, because there is. Yeah. There's more room we, to to maneuver do. there too between right. the, what he's got is brownish gray versus the the priority habitats. Yeah, and that, line, that so pavement that can, can can extend right into that sort of alley between the treatment plant and the boundary. If there's a, there's a gas bill, let's just take care of the habitat. Yeah, because I guess technically yeah. now there, that would I consider that driveway right now where we drive around from the yes, back. Yeah, yeah, more or less a yeah, right. driveway right. between exactly. the yeah, pole barn and the stir. So the way this is drawn up, how I can't tell how far is the existing building is right near the road, but that's irrelevant because it's an existing building. Yeah. So everything else is within a fifty foot front yard setback. It is behind it, Jimmy. Yeah. It yeah. Is. yeah. It's yeah. behind it. It's hard to see yeah. that blue line. I, mean, I just yeah. see the blue yeah. line yeah. right there. So setbacks, correct. So so nothing requires a variance. That's what I'm saying. Except for some parking. 
and we know how the planning board can be about that. Well, there are a bunch of that at least there's, there's, there's tons of zoning. Things. Nasty. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> well, this this feels pretty good to me. It's yeah, I'm liking a little get, bit of boop, yeah, manipulating the, of the stuff and the salt shed, so they we're not hindering the sludge hauling. Yep. So yeah. yeah. Can you mix mix the sludge with the salt to get it? Yeah. Uh, we no, I think it freezes and turns real <laughs> nasty. Like, well, the salt will keep it from freezing. <laughs> it doesn't work like the molasses, I don't think. Oof. If it was, that would be a great cost savings to the town. Wouldn't it? Just for curiosity reasons, on the first design, yeah, demolition and all that good stuff. Do you have a cost estimate for that? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, again, a bit of a placeholder, but, um, what was I saying here? Probably in the range of like two hundred thousand dollars or something. Two hundred thousand more to demo it to, to demo. demo. But the, oh, no, demo. but I'm talking. Is that what you want to know? Sure. Or would you want to know total cost? Just the total cost of the cost. Of the cost that was of the oh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, let's see. So all of one. The plan two is two hundred. Is uh, it's twenty-seven. Twenty-two mil. Is that you know twenty-five or? Thirty. Well, he said to cut everything in total. Twenty. Concept two is twenty-seven million, right? Right. right. With the pipe, yeah, the, the water line, right? The water line. Right. Right. What did this go? Huh? What was the cost of this? This one? The, the library. The library, but uh, the senior center and the substation. What were they? Do you remember? Just, just, just speaking the same thing. Right. This I think was around eight, eight point eight or something. The, uh, so the library, senior, library was 8.8. 8. 8. The, 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 the senior center was, well, they came back so many times. They came back three times, so I don't remember what the whole price was. It was around was. eight. I think they're, they're, it was a little less than the library. I know it was less yeah, than Yeah, it was less than the library. library. And then the substation. 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 North, the North Station was like three million. Yeah. Right, three plus. Three plus, yeah. yeah. The timing of our debt service with, with those three buildings is going to start coming down when this would come into the picture. That's a rough. We got to wait for this building cash. anyway, so we don't have enough money to maintain it right now. If we built it, so we got to wait until the budget gets out. That's, my, that's a job to me. <laughs> uh, especially with the elevator. Another question too I have is just cost-wise, whatever you know. On plan, the first building, just the utility-wise, where we're closer to that existing gravity sewer line for the existing building, because obviously we need to hit the sewer to uh, make this work. Uh, in concept two, obviously we're going to have to have some kind of pump ch chamber and pump stuff, pump sewage, the wash plant and everything to the gravity line to get pumped the way the plant works to get pumped back to the plant. We can't directly inject in there either. That's another thing too. We have to hit that gravity line to go to the end of the street and then it comes back. I, I say we just hit the outgoing line right in direct. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. There's, there's yeah. you know, things long-term things to look at, look at. You know, pumps and things of that, they cost money to operate, maintain, etc., etc. Yeah, right. 
You would need that for, for both scenarios, though, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, I don't know. The plan one, I don't know if you, you would because you're more towards the existing footprint where we have gravity sewer already out of the building, the existing building, and the trailers are on gravity sewer. Yeah, and you're saying that the vehicle storage building would not require a sewer? Well, well, it does. It does. It does. Yeah, so that's my, I guess it, yeah, that's my point. You're going to need a pump right. no matter what. So did, did you it's a good thought, though. have the total for concept one? Or, so, I mean, just because I think it's going to, obviously, it's going to be considerably more because you're building another whole building. Yeah, um, I think I want to go back and make sure that the numbers are correct before I okay. say it. Okay. The other, the other it looks like there's it's going to be more. The other thing that we're forgetting here is if we were to do concept one, then you've got no place oh. to do anything because you're tearing right. down that building. Correct. You've got, you got right. no, yeah, you got yeah, no, now you're going to be, oh, you you're all that in you're going to be renting yeah. a place to work. Yeah, right. we did not include yeah, temporary right. facilities. They'll be yeah, using your home office, yeah, that's, Gary. The parks, they'll be using your home office. I'll be to retired park by then, anyways, but I, yeah, that's fine. I understand. That's that's the whole biggest, that was the biggest problem, you know, with the senior center here. We Half the stuff went to storage, half the went to the church. We had to rent it. The town had to pay the church taxes because it was no longer taxed. Yeah, you know, it just it, it just creates a, and that's just the senior center. It was right. a couple of, an office, a couple office in a right. little meeting space. Right. So yeah, in in concept two, theoretically you could, well, I don't know. I guess you'd have to do everything at once. But if you could build the southern portion first, and then you know utilize that while you're rehabbing right. the existing, right. that would be huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, obviously the first. Thing would, that would be built on the site, I guess, would be a new salt shed, regardless. So we yeah, can, so you can replace. Yeah, because yeah, you're gonna have to empty the one that's there. And then demo it for whatever you did. Yeah. 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 Even the fuel could stay. Right. For the moment, right. For for the construction aspect, for whatever it took the get up and run in a year or something, I don't think if you didn't have the fuel island would be, I think you could manage for... Yeah, but you could leave year. the existing one if you're going to go with this here and get all this Oh, I understand before. that, but if you had to get it out of there for utility work, construction, yeah. or what have you... It's also on borrowed time. Right, it's on borrowed yeah. time. Yeah. It, it, it could potentially go. You could fill the back truck with diesel and just... Get a fuel truck and park it there. Yeah. yeah. So, is there a gravity line? There's a gravity line that runs down South Middle Street now? Yes. Yeah. If you're where you were surveying off that other prop parcel here. There's a manhole, I'd say, just up by your north uh, indication okay. there, and that's where we drop into. That's the beginning of the line. Is coal on the sewer? No. Or the neighbor's not. No. The line not stops. Line. Right. Yeah. And would, so we wouldn't be able to get by gravity to that point, right? It's too, it'd be too low. Yeah, well, I guess you'd have to shoot some elevations yeah, and see, see, but I don't, okay. it's not terribly deep. I see. It may be, I don't know, four or five foot in that manhole. I don't know if you'd make it. Yeah, yeah I guess you'd have to shoot the grades and see. I, I'd be willing to say no, yeah. but. So that 27 million obviously doesn't include the costs. Replacing it's the it's the water lines that are too small. No, it, he didn't. It include, does include it. Oh, this doesn't include the water main. No, it, it does, does not include twenty seven. The twenty seven million does not include the water main. No, it doesn't. What? Well, then how do you get twenty two? Twenty two million. Yeah, but you said twenty seven. Right. Twenty seven for total project cost. Right for total project, and that doesn't include the water. Doesn't include, does not include the water. Wait, wait, wait. What's what's the twenty seven million versus twenty two million? 
Well, for concept one. 22 is the construction cost. Right. right. And I thought that... And the 5 the million water. is his fee. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which was, what is the 27? Is it total pro Total project cost. So that includes, yeah, engineering fees, but all the other soft costs, oh. including furniture and um, uh, uh, other IT costs, you know, access control and all that. So how much... I got an area cost? rug I'll donate. There you go. I mean, these are just placeholders that we typically keep. Do, do you remember what, the, what we got charged? I don't know what South I'm talking about. South Maple? Yes. 490? Per linear foot, I was thinking just to try to figure it out. It's, it's going to be about that same. It's similar yeah. to that. Yeah, I bet you uh, all of a half a million bucks. So we need to do that anyways. Well, right. So it's right. probably something we should be working on right now regardless, even for those houses, correct? How well, we benefit those houses? <laughs> Yes, it, it, along with Rocky Hill Road, along with it, it, like uh, Mill Valley, uh, the whole South Naples Street stretch. I mean, there's multiple spots we should be looking at. Yep. But I mean, obviously, we're putting a building here. Right. We we wouldn't have a choice. We'd have to do that. We 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 don't need fire flow. We right. know that. Right. right. What's another half a million when you're talking 27? Right. Hey, that's, but it could be something that could be done outside and, that project. And that's also, on it now. and that's also, it's improving other people, not just that project. Right. So. right. Is there any grant money available for something like this? That's the famous question. <laughs> yes, there is, except you have to be design ready for projects like that. This one, I don't know how much design there would need. If it, I really don't know. Um, it's all timing, and it's all as we go back to the same issue that probably comes up in every meeting where money's involved. Is Hadley is unique, and uh, We're our, well. our tax rate yeah. is low, and our medium income is high. So it's really hard to build a case that we yeah, and we haven't maintained it. Well, plus so those three factors kill us every time. A lot of grants don't we need to put a percentage with it also? Not so much. You can do in kind sometimes. Like we're doing a grant now that we had to um, we have to get an in kind that we got funding at the end of town meeting last year. Um, it was minimal. It was twenty. I say it minimal as yeah, I have it's twenty four thousand. It's not, it's not minimal, but in comparison to the whole project. Right. It was significant, and it's just showing the town is going to support this. That yeah, I haven't right. seen any necessarily grant money for like pipe work, you know, replacement. I mean, there's grant money available for different things, but not necessarily for you know replacing the water line. Pipe. Yeah. Yeah. They, they also want at money the money end of it there has money. to be mm -hmm. a. a um, impact on economic it's development. That is, there's a wonderful one-stop community, one-stop where you can just pick and choose, but the end game is economic development. Have you done any water work recently where you know the linear, what they're getting per foot? Or uh, not me personally, but certainly yeah, the farm, my company yeah, does yeah, it. Yeah. And I, okay, I can make inquiries there for sure. How many feet is there? Oh, I don't. Should I have from like, you know, what road to there. Mm -hmm. Should the town be looking at putting stuff up to bid? Like mowing lawn and stuff. They yeah, so they have, they have a lot of that. A lot of it has. Mm -hmm. What's the What's the total length we need? Do you have a sense what that is? I'd have to look on a map. I yeah. don't know, off the top of my head. What do you think? That's from the road to our garage. They road to the garage. Half a mile. Quarter mile. Good quarter. Oh, quarter yeah. mile. Quarter mile. Good quarter. Over a quarter. Probably close to probably close to. Well, I, I'm, just, I'm just thinking of the houses between there and the garage. It's right. What? It's probably between. Like I bet you it's over half a mile. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's Do you that think so? I would. Yeah, I bet you you're, you're getting closer to a half than a quarter. I agree. Yeah. So that would be over Mount Ankle then, what like we just did, right? Because that couldn't have been. No, because we we uh, we went from the bike path to the uh, South Maple intersection. The right. rest of it they did was part of their project. So, so we might be double right there. Oh God, yeah. So you're talking a million. Could be. Plus, plus that, and that's just linear footage of pipe. Never mind when you do this, you got to have you know hydrants every 500 feet, valves every thousand. I mean, all that adds up. Yeah.
Well, well you're, yeah. not, you're not going to buy a, a bigger piece of property somewhere else for a million, so. Right, I was just going to say, that no, all, it's all a wash since we don't I mean, have to it, buy it, it, it does help out, it definitely, without a doubt, helps out the current residents on the street to get good water, good fire protection, etc. There's no question. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's money well spent regardless. I bet you're close to 3,500 feet. No. According to the map, it is. Really? Really. Wow, I've got to be way up. <laughs> From the intersection to, um, depending how far you go, are you going to go to the houses behind? We have to, yeah, because the, you're, you're over 3,500 yeah. feet. Like there. Yeah, I mean, you're going the, all the way down to this thing. You might so. Yeah, the currently, like it's pretty crew construction, how those other houses get fed in, there's that, no fire the protection part, there, so you, you couldn't, it'd be a disservice to, right. to those residents not to yeah. go all the way, especially for fire protection reasons too. Yeah. Yeah. And in the grand scheme of things, now we'd have to get water further over, further anyway, so now going to them is not going to be right. a big deal at all. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you're in a. I bet you're in a thirty-five hundred foot range. <coughs> yes. I know right now. Like if a contractor tells you, "Oh, we get fifty dollars a linear foot," that's not including any valves or hydrants or anything like that. That's just a dig, put pipe in the ground and back. And the, the valve and hydrants, I mean, as you know, add up fast. And any service connections to that. Sure. Yeah. Is the water line on one side or the other of the blacktop, the existing water line? It starts off off the road and then as you start getting down towards the culvert there it's in the road so i i we own a lot of property there so yeah. we can definitely get the pipe i'd yeah. say most of it in well, off the road most of those houses are only a few feet off on the town right away yeah which which is a tremendous savings when you're excavating in in you know, a grass belt in a roadway. Sure. But obviously, going over the culvert, we'll have to, you'd have to be on the road a little bit, but then we then you could skirt back off into the grass. Okay. All right. So I think we're we're just continuing to beat up. So for next time, we'll set up the next meeting. We'd like it to kind of just to review what we what what to do. Redraw concept two with the proposed changes, mm -hmm. even if there's more than one drawing. Um, obviously, if there's any, you know, do the recost of concept one if there's any changes, um, especially with the smaller fuel tanks. Um, you had a price on, you said you'd want to hear a price on concept two. We just want to kind of, that's just out of curiosity. Yeah, just out of curiosity. Yeah. Um, do we want to do a camera on the outfall before the next meeting, or we need to get that done sometime, right? Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, not maybe not for the next meeting, but it's got to get that's it's something that they should be figuring out, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Is that something they should do or what the town should do? I don't know. I'm just asking a question. Well, right right now it's uh I'm not sure the cost effect and what we have for available funds to do it in house at the moment. We might have to wait on that. But. Yeah, and so we have to just um Mike called while we were in our meeting, he didn't realize we were meeting. So I do have to talk with him because we pretty much maxed out here. So we have to, I have to be addressing that because we really haven't finished. So I can't add a scope of work onto them at this point. Okay. And when you do camera a sewer pipe, does it take a video that's 
brick uh, savable. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah. You'd be surprised. They give, you a, like. <laughs> yeah. they give you a stick with everything on it. They will tell you how deep it is. You know what's in the way. You know. I mean, you can. It, 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 it's. They're amazing. That Fletcher's. <laughs> well, we camered the good one to figure to where to tie the stuff out. I mean, they now, they will tell you where it turns, how deep it is, and they're within an inch. If we open that manhole over here, that because this thing outfall catch basin slash and look in there and it's corrugated pipe which i'm pretty certain it is mm -hmm. I, I i think cameraing it's a, a moot point i just think it's Replace. it's not the right thing to do yeah on on top of a corrugated bare steel pipe it just should be replaced period if this is too big of a it, project to leave old old important infrastructure in the ground. Sure. Uh, I don't disagree with that. Is that something that could be lined or better off replaced? Well, my next question was going to be to you was, obviously in this site, it's going to have some drainage. Mm -hmm. How's all that get tied in and outfall to a, what's your overflow? I think you probably have the detention basin with an overflow. Correct. Is the overflow into this? If it is, is that pipe big enough to handle I wouldn't it? think it goes into that, no. Okay. But again, this is so preliminary. We yeah, no, I understand that, that, but that's just something, like Gary said, yeah, you can sleeve line. I don't know if you can sleeve line that because it's always discharging. That's. I guess you can put a oh, bypass well. pump and then pump it, right. but you, to sleeve line, it has to be dry, Yeah. which is another, to put another pipe in, you just dewater and do your thing or what have you. Yeah, so Put it next to it first. Or, or right, and then yeah. tie it in. Uh -huh. From point A to B, that other manhole on the road. I mean, that's like I said, that's easy enough to look in there and see. Hey, it's corrugated. We know that it should be replaced. If, it, if it's not, we should definitely have it inspected with a camera. Mm -hmm. Compared to all the other costs, that seems like yeah, yeah. But I'm just yeah. saying that I, I, I don't think you yeah. disagree that no nope. building a twenty-seven million dollar project. Over a, you know, 1970 something pipe is probably the best idea. That's still pump station missions to sit there. What was the square footage four or five years ago for this building? Would you say coming in? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's doubled or okay. tri tripled. I mean, it's okay. tripled. Uh, right. Price explains just it. Went insane. Yeah. <laughs> Concept of. These three buildings right there. Yeah, right. right. Um, and of course, we want to look at. We want to think. We probably need to figure out the price and the distance on the waterline from Bay Road to the to this area. If you just got a distance on it. Yeah, we can get that easy enough to measure it. Yeah. You know, then it's just mapping out what you need for. Obviously, it would have to be designed. Well, that's different. Yeah, but I mean, it's just just yeah, footages. Just, yeah, yeah. And we, yeah. I mean, if I. If I give you the footage, I think you can get us a rough I think so. Right. So number. Th those, those are what I've got. Does anybody have anything else you want to have them looking at? No? Okay. Um, next meeting. Whoops, come on. You want to try for... Whoops. There we go. There we go. Two weeks from today would be April 5th. Want to try that one or not? That works for me. I yeah, believe. Okay with that. That's when your next board meeting is, oh. correct? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the next select board meeting, so I can think spend the afternoon here. Okay. 4 p.m. I'll join you, Randy. All right. Well, then you, you bring the dinner. <laughs> you bring the tuna sandwiches. Well, I eat dinner at three, so. I could be able to, I think I'd be able to make that one. Forget it. You probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> yeah. You'd be surprised. I'm just talking with Carolyn, not no, no, no. just agreeing <laughs> with your date. No, no, I'm, I'm just saying I, sh I should be okay for that meeting. Week from tomorrow, yeah, today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, we could yesterday get my hip replaced, so. No oh kidding. Boy. Yeah. What they're saying, you're going to be home that day. You are. And you'll be within 
few weeks, you'll be, the only thing you can't do is drive a car. Most of that you've got to do it because of the pain meds you're on, <laughs> if you're on them. But you, if it's your uh, right? Left hip. It's your left, so it's, it's quicker, right? Well, the, the hip, the hip, the hips are a lot easier, for better, for lack of a better word, than the knee. Right, and they've come yeah. a long ways. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, when well, they told me, they said, you're, the operation, because you're healthy, they expect me to be home by noontime. You know, the operation would be like 7 in the morning. I was like, really? Hey, that's what they say. So my alternate, uh, Kevin Ross in Northampton, he's probably, I don't know, 42, say. He said he needs two. But because of COVID, they canceled one, but he had one of them done. So now he's got to do the whole, they won't let him work until, you know, he's, he's good enough to go back. But it, because of the driving on the left, I mean, on the right, he couldn't drive because of that reason, I guess. So it was something with the right longer than, you know, now when he has the left, at least he can drive sooner. Yeah, I mean, the... the, the for some reason. The, they, well, they, they told me that, well, you won't be able to drive truck for a while because of the clutch on the left side. Okay. I said, well, I said, I just won't drive truck for a while. It's not a big deal. I mean, I only drive maybe two days a month right now. Um, everything else is automatics. So yeah. that's no big deal. Yeah. So I think, Jim, what I'll try to have too is um, the finance team meets frequently, you know, almost every week. And then we, we usually meet with a member of the finance committee and a select board member once a month. And I think we'll talk about this because we've been, we've been talking about forecasting out what it's going to look like. So I'll hope to have some better ideas where I think. Because you do have the option to go to feasibility for one town meeting and then another town meeting go for the construction. But you can do both. But I think we need to see what that's going to look like. And I think you guys still have some more work to do. Um, but we, I also have to meet with Mike and see what, what scope of work is left. Because um, we used leftover money from an article. So are we going to try to do anything for this town meeting? Well, that's what we want to oh, talk about. Find out. Okay. I, I don't know if we have enough time. I can, a when, really when important that? part of this, May, it's May 5th. May 5th. A really important part of this is going to be the public education. I don't think we have enough time between now and May. That's my initial thought. I We were hoping to be a little further along by now, mm -hmm. but it's just, it is what yeah, it is. I, I, I would just wanted to like to go forward for design money and get that approved. Um, but yeah, look at whatever is appropriate. That where, that's where I'm going to get the the substan sub sub substantial information from the finance committee. What do we think the town can handle between now and a year from now? Okay. Very good. On a $27 million building, I'm going to go on the high end, even though I think you guys are still starting to see what you can pick away. I mean, my experience is that first number, you start to chip away at it and say, what can we live without? But if that were the number, what's what is design fees for that architectural? Uh, usually in the range of ten to twelve percent of that. Is that included in the in that twenty seven? It is, yes. It is. Yeah. Depends on you know, this is sort of assuming we don't end up having to do special foundations or something, which has is usually additional engineering services. So it's about two point five million dollars in that range. And at, at our last meeting, you suggested that some uh, geotech work yes. would be appropriate. Correct. Right. Yeah, we usually at you know some stage similar to this, we'll do sort of a preliminary set of geotech, which is really just one day of drilling, sort of in select spots based on whatever concept we're at at the time. Yeah. Okay. So that we get an impression of you know are we on the right track? Is there anything? Unknown there. Yeah. The existing building is built on grade. Sure. Yeah, there's no indication particularly of anything bad, but you know. The only reason I know my father was on the building committee that built that garage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I built it. Okay. He, um, what's his name? I can't think of the guy that I'll grab it. I can get it. Yeah. 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 Pull the bike. Who, who has the, uh, had the plumbing shop on, uh, 
Wally Street. Shipman. 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 But Ray, Ray, uh, Ray Shipman's father, my father, I think who else? There was like four people on that committee. And back then, Ray Shipman, Ray Shipman drew up the plans. They knew who somebody who was a registered engineer. They stamped them, and that was it. But they just built, then they just built it. That was all was required back then. Just like today. Yeah. All right. Are we good to go? Yep. Um, anything else? Motion to adjourn. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Sorry. Second. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting history. Thank you, and thank you for your help.